here is the uh, here's the mission. Two iconic roles on TV. This is based off of Ron Howard, the uh, Academy Award winning director who joins us tomorrow. He was on Mayberry with Andy Griffith, and he was on Happy Days with uh, Fonzie. Number one shows in the country. Happy Days was huge, 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 huge back in the 70s. All right. I said, I, I said Brian Cranston with uh, Malcolm in the middle. He was Hal. And, of course, uh, Walter White with Breaking Bad. Yes, Paulie. Here's mine. Kelsey Grammer, Cheers, Frasier. He may not have been the main mm-hmm. character on Cheers, but it's a legendary show. Frasier is on the cusp of being a legendary show. But you show. could almost go boss, too, with him as well. I don't think that one counts because he's actually playing the same person in both shows. So that's actually just a spin-off of the same character. He's I'm going to go with Frasier in Cheers and Frasier okay. in Frasier. you're disqualified then. Two iconic shows was the topic. Who was no, on two, two iconic but, characters? But they're characters. Mm. Now you can say, is Opie Taylor Richie Cunningham? And there's a name change involved. Yeah, there is. All right, see. I almost felt bad because I felt like I was stealing this one from Paulie, and I'm shocked that he didn't go with it. David Hasselhoff, Knight Rider, Baywatch. Think of all Baywatch has given us. Oh, and it still gives. Hello. Yeah. Talking Cars. Mm. That's good. Mm. Knight Rider. Oh, yeah. I never saw an episode. Because yeah, it's be, cool. That's, yeah. Make, yeah. make sure you start with episode one because you'll be lost if you jump in mid-season. Yeah, yeah. Well, same thing with Baywatch. Yeah, it's like that. I got to watch from the beginning. I lost. get lost in that plot. All right, McLovin, do you have one? I have four, so I want Todd to go first. And All right, go I'll ahead, take it leftover. Right. I went Gavin McLeod, Murray Slaughter on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, and Captain Steubing on the Love Boat. Gavin McLeod. Okay. All right. What else? Uh, I'll go with uh, Neil Patrick Harris, Doogie Howser, and Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother. Is Doogie Howser a legendary American TV show? Oh, he's more iconic than Barney Stinson. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't use that as the judge. Is he more iconic than Brian Cranston? Whenever you see a doctor who looks a little young, you go, oh, what's up, Doogie Howser? That's iconic to me. Yeah. Yeah, Paul. Here's another one that a lot of people are sending on the Twitter. <laughs> Julia Louise Dreyfus, yes. Seinfeld, and Veep, which on Veep is on the cusp. Sure of being is. an all-time great uh, HBO comedy. She doesn't surpass Brian Cranston. Ooh. Well, it's the Seinfeld. That's, that's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian Cranston, Malcolm in the Middle, is stronger than Veep. Ew. Yes. Okay, did you watch Malcolm in the Middle, Seton? No. <laughs> okay. It is, it is awesome. It's basically a kid. It's it's so funny. It's so funny. It is. Uh, Trust me. It's great. It's great. Yes, McLovin. Another one that's coming up, Andy Griffith himself uh, as Matlock and Andy Griffith. Yeah. Matlock. But but don't you have to be like 80 to watch Matlock? (laughs) That's a joke in The Simpsons. Like everyone rushes home to the old (laughs) folks home to watch Matlock. (laughs) Yeah, Fritzy. Are we leaving out any women? I feel like the the females aren't being uh, supported enough. Well, that's... That's your wheelhouse. Yeah. Mary Tyler Moore? I had B. Arthur as Maud and Blanche from Golden Girls, but it's got to be something better than that. What happened to this show? <laughs> yes, Those Paul. Great. Write-in candidate Don Knotts, Barney Fife from the Andy Griffith Show, and Mr. Furley on oh, Three's Company. Wow, mm. that's such a winner, dude. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> Mr. Furley? Oh, such a winner, dude. Yes, McLean. We have a fan who's a, a producer for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia who <laughs> sent me a screaming email, Danny DeVito for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Not quite. And Taxi? It's still good. Always Sunny is great. Big fans of the Dan Patrick yes. show over there. Yes. Did anyone say Ed O'Neill? No. Uh, Married Ooh, with Children and Modern, modern family. family. Wow. Bam. That's pretty solid. That might out Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. Yeah. But Walter White was so big. I mean, that... That was like the kind of show that I remember seeing on social media because I watched it after the fact. People stopped down and were like, all right, this is it, the final one. Yeah. Like, what's going to, like, it, where everything turned off just because that was happening. Yeah, Paul. I just got an email from the United States Olympic Committee. They'd like to weigh in on this. And they actually back you, Dan. They say if you sprinkle in Brian Cranston's three episode arc on Seinfeld as uh, dentist Tim Watley, wow. <laughs> you could pop Seinfeld on his resume. Oh, man. Yeah. Walk That's off. So good. Yeah. So good. The so thing good. is, it's such a different character. I'll give you that. There's no wider range in the two characters of people than Walter White and Malcolm in the Middle. That's what he gets credit for. You know, like those are complete opposites, right? Well, what was his character like in Malcolm in the Middle? Goofy. Fu- like he was a dad who was a kid. He was goofy. 
fun, get in trouble all the time, kind of absent-minded. His wife was the lowest, was the strong one there, had the three boys. Just watch. There's one episode of Malcolm in the Middle. Watch it, and then if you have a different opinion, then you know what? I, I'll, I'll stand down. The When he wants to become a professional race walker. <laughs> just watch. I'm in. Just, I'm in. Just watch that episode, and then you tell me. Race walking is so funny. Race walking if you, is great. If you watch Malcolm in the Middle, the race walking episode, and you don't appreciate how Brian Cranston then I'll stand down. Yes, Bowen. This is the last one, and this is a woman, Dan, and one of your favorite actresses of all time, Susan Day, Partridge Family, L.A. Law. That's big. She might be first ballot in the woman category. Mary Tyler Moore. Well, yes, Mary Tyler Moore show and Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke. Although that might not be our wheelhouse with that you know, that era. Great show, though, Dick Van Dyke. Yes, yes, Fritzy. Aaron Gray, Silver Spoons, and Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Okay. Oh, I knew game. it was time to move on <laughs> once you did Aaron that. Gray. Once Claire you... Danes, My So-Called Life, Homeland. It's not bad. I don't even know what My So-Called Life is. Very popular show about 15 years ago or more with uh, Jared Leto was the star of it, too. No. Oh. You're a little, that's not really your demo. No, it's not my wheelhouse. Fritzy has them on t- I haven't <laughs> even VHS. S- I haven't seen her in Homeland. I haven't seen an episode of oh. Homeland. What, Fritzy? I'm just going to... I'm just going to throw out one more. Scott Bayo, Charles in Charge, and Chachi. Ball game. It was worth a run. Yep. Ooh, Larry Hagman, I Dream a Genie. Oh, in Dallas. Dallas. And James Garner is getting a lot, too. I don't, Maverick and uh, Rockford. I loved Rockford. I heard Great that show. they were going to do a remake of Rockford Files. You have George Clooney, Facts of Life, Roseanne, ER. ER. That's a trifecta right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. 